two-year-old fillies, the Shawnee. Here's that field, number one, Made for Action, owned by Doctors William and Brenda Langdon of Tams, Illinois. John Campbell in the bike. 1A, Ms. Flippett, owned by the Langdons with Irvin Miller. 2, Heather Bonney, owned by Duncan Foundry and Machine Works, Inc. of Alton, Illinois. Mike Rogers is up. 3, Gum Corner Lane, owned by Ruth Burkett and George Nockmoose of Ellery and West Salem with Connell Willis. 4, Cooper's Last Doll, owned by Eddie Bros of Washington. Rick Schrock in the bike. 5, Mystical Connection, owned by Jim Ryan, Thurl Hare, Chuck Daring, and Earl Pemberton of Brownstown, Illinois. J.D. Finn will drive. Six Hardwired, owned by Phil and Robert Rietveld, with Eric Ledford. Seven True Blue Wood, leased and driven by Roger Daniel of Flintville, Tennessee. Eight Speedy Sahara, owned by Jack and Peggy Hood, Mystical Marker Farm, Steinbrenner Racing Stable of Illinois, Indiana, and Florida, with David McGee. And number nine, Riverside Kit, owned by Karen Stewart of Belmont, Tom Simmons, in the bike. Field of 10, Illinois conceived in full Phillies. Final of the Shawnee for two-year-old trotters. At the post, the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting between Phillies for the lead. Mystical connection on the inside. Heather Bonney out with her gum corner lane third. Racing on the outside four, Speedy Sahara. Out five, Cooper's last doll. Six is hard wired. Seven on the outside, made for action. Racing eight, dropped in against the rail. True Blue Wood, nine on the inside. As that field swings around the turn, now to the outside is Ms. Flippett. They are approaching the quarter mile mark and they're being led by Mystical Connection. And here comes Speedy Sahara. She's alongside the leader. Now she takes command at the quarter. She'll lead him past that mark under the back stretch front panel 28-4 rolling toward the half mile mark the new leader speedy sahara second mystical connection third heather bonnie four gum corner lane five cooper's last doll six against the rail riverside kit trotting seven is hardwired to the outside following her down the backside ms flippant racing nine true blue wood and trailing now is made for action. Field of trotting fillies down the backstretch being led by Speedy Sahara. The arm road charger filly will lead him past the half mile mark. She has a length and a half advantage over Mystical Connection and J.D. Finn. And on the outside, here comes Cooper's last doll. She's rolling up third and 59-3 at the half. They're trotting into the upper turn, leading the way, Speedy Sahara. On the outside, Cooper's last doll mounts a challenge. Mystical Connection will need racing room. Hardwired is fourth on the outside. Trotting five is Heather Bonney, six gum corner lane, seven moving up is Flippett. Trotting eight as they're approaching the three-quarter mile mark is made for action. Field of Phillies being led on the inside still by Speedy Sahara, but that's Cooper's last doll and Rick Schrock applying pressure on the outside. Mystical Connection will back out. She'll come three wide, and here she comes as they're at the top of the lane. Hardwired keeps trying to move up. Miss Flippett has come from way back. She's fifth. They're off the three-quarter mile mark, and 130 and two, they're in the lane. And on the inside, Speedy Sahara as they trot to the wire, and on the far outside, Mystical connection between them. Cooper's last doll. Three across the racetrack. Cooper's last doll between them. Speedy Sahara fights back. Speedy Sahara will lead him to the wire in the Shawnee. She wins it by a neck. Cooper's last doll, two. Mystical connection was three. A photo for four between Made for Action and Riverside Kit. That mile, 202 unofficially. Speedy Sahara, David McGee. Bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads. In fact, the mother of this filly, Watavolo, was purchased by Pat Walker. One of the years that Tattersalls offered the satellite hookup, Pat called and bought a couple of trotting fillies that night. They were lightly raced. They were purchased mainly for the broodmare band, and that move has been rewarded today because in the winner's circle is the foal from Watavolo by Supergill, Speedy Sahara. Now to make presentation, representing the state of Illinois, Lolita Diedrichsen. She just greeted owner George Steinbrenner, owner of the New York Yankees. About to greet owners Jack and Peggy Hood. And the Mystical Marker Farm Connections.
This filly, very importantly, has annexed the second leg of three needed to qualify for the million dollar bonus provided by the State of Illinois Department of Agriculture. Those who do not understand that program or perhaps have not heard about it, 